Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be implementing an AI chatbot to our website using a WordPress plugin called AI Engine. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so first you'll need to have a WordPress website. So I just have a staging server that I set up over here. And if you're building something new on your website, then I recommend setting up a staging website as you'll be able to test new features without interruption of your live site. Okay, so once you have a WordPress website, either your live website or staging website, then you can go to add new plugin. And then the plugin we'll install is called AI Engine. Okay, so it's this one over here, over 50,000 downloads. So we'll click install now. So it says here we have chatbots, so generator assistance, GPT-4 and more. So click activate. Okay, great. So now we have that installed. So we can go here into settings. Okay, awesome. So we'll just be using the free version in this video. So they have a lot of pro features, which we'll go over near the end of the video, but we'll just go over setting up the chatbot first. Okay, so first, essentially what we have here is just the core module. So we have the chatbot. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on today, but they also have these other pro features such as uh, building AI forms and using the assistance API. So this is more advanced as this is something that just came out at the open AI conference where you're able to generate assistants that have the ability to perform tasks, not just give back information. And then over here in the server modules, we have the ability to fine tune our models as well. So we can enable that so that we're able to train the model so that it's not just the default model. And then over here we have moderation as well. So, so again, this goes into fine tuning so we can enable moderation as well. Okay. So next let's go into settings. And this is what we need over here is the open AI API key. Okay, so you'll just need to create an account with OpenAI and then you'll have access to the API key over here. So I'll just enter my API key. Okay, so next let's look into the chatbots. So we'll create our first chatbot. Okay, great. So this is the chatbot. How it will look like. So this is the chatbot. So essentially first we need to give it a main setting. So essentially what we're looking to create. So let's do you are a sales representative for an AI automation agency. Their objective is to support client questions and help users navigate the website. Okay, so I think this is a good um, initial prompt. Okay, and then over here into themes so we can essentially change how it looks. So let's see what none looks like. Okay, so none is just no styling. And then chat GBT is what we just had and then Messages OS looks more like a iMessage. So I like the chat GPT dark theme. So let's stick with that. So the visual settings. Okay, great. So we can give it a name. So let's do that. Let's say AI support. Yep. We can just keep the default settings. And then next, let's go to AI settings, the environment. So make sure it's open AI. Okay, and then you would choose the model. So we'll choose Let's see here. Currently the best model over here is GPT-4 Turbo. So we don't need the vision because uh, it's just for chat. So you can go with GPT-4 Turbo. Okay, and then this is just so you have some control over the amount of tokens that you get billed for because with each message will call the OpenAI API and this will, and you'll be billed according to your usage. So let's just keep it at what it's saying recommendation. So 496. So the max messages at 15 and then the max input length at 512. So let's just keep that as standard. Okay. And then this is just a short code, but we'll add it so that it's on every page. Okay. And then the site white chat, we'll set it over here to the default. So let's go over here into fine tune. We can add additional data to our chatbot. As it says here, you can import a file, either CSV or JSON. So like a spreadsheet in which you're able to provide more complex data to your model, which will, which will allow your model to be more accurate in terms of its answers. And then over here in moderation. Okay. And then again, so if the chatbot thinks that the text is offensive, then the chatbot will not reply. So we'll enable that. And this is good also for saving usage on tokens as you wouldn't want unnecessary conversations to take place with your chatbot. Okay. And then back here into settings, we can just finish off with these. So again, the default model, let's change it to the GPT-4 Turbo. Okay. And then everything can be left as default. So, so if you want them to be able to save the conversations, we can 
enable discussions. So let's enable that. And then if you want some text speak speech to text features or text to speech, you can enable the web speech API, but we'll skip that in this tutorial. Okay. And then they also have some admin tools such as generating content. We have that over here at the top. So we'll play with that after. Okay, great. So this looks good. So let's check out our chatbot on the homepage. Awesome. So if we check here in the corner, we have a little chat bubble. If we click that and we see over here, AI support rep, we can say, hi, what are you? So it's pretty much giving back the answer, which we provided. We said it's a AI sales rep. So it's an AI digital assistant to help answer questions and guide you through the website about AI automation solutions, which the agency offers. So we just gave it a little bit of context and it's able to provide relevant answers. So if you give it some more data, you'll be able to fine tune the model further and it'll give more accurate information. So for example, you can give it data about the services you offer, about your company, or about the pricing of your solutions. So you can really go into in depth with creating a curated chatbot specifically for your business. Okay, great. So it also gives you a usage. So it gives you data about approximately how many tokens are being used. So you can keep track about whether you need to cut back on the amount of tokens per response just if this goes a bit out of budget. So just keep an eye on your usage costs over here. Okay, so lastly, to finish off, let's look over the additional features that the AI engine has to offer. So let's look at the content module. Okay, so if you're looking for some topics, this tool will allow you to generate new articles for your blog or video content or social media content as well. So we can say AI automation business help. Let's see what that gives. Great. So it created a article, which we can look over and edit to make it match our brand. But this is great if you're looking to add more articles to your blog or look for ideas for social media content. And then you can also change the language, update the writing style, and then the tone. And again, it gives you the approximate usage for each API call. Okay. So next let's go into images. So again, we can write something here. So let's say. AI automation agency logo. And then over here, we can choose the environment. So let's choose our open AI environment. Dolly three is fine. And then the resolution and the style, let's just keep it at none. Okay. And then click generate one image. Awesome. So it created kind of a cyberpunk logo for us over here. So again, you can use this feature to generate images for your blog or social media content. So I like it as it's held here in your website interface. So you don't have to jump back and forth between ChatGPT and your website. You can just keep everything in one dashboard. Okay, and then lastly over here is just a playground. So you can test different models, test different models that are coming out. So again, which with these models, each model is a different usage. So these models all charge a different amount of tokens. So you would have to check the open AI website to check the pricing as they're always changing. So the open AI, Website has this as well. So it's just a playground over here. So you're just able to play with the AI models. So I don't think this is really that necessary, but this is just another feature that's offered in the plugin. Okay. So let's just look over their pro version. So looking at the pro version over here, you're able to create AI forms. So embedding your own custom databases of knowledge. So content aware is a great feature as it's able to understand the contents of the current page. So I think this would be good for like an e-commerce store as your chatbot will be able to analyze the current page. And again, in terms of more statistics. So again, with assistance, you're able to create AI assistants that are able to actually do the tasks instead of just giving you answers. The free version already comes with so many features. They did, they really didn't uh, scrape back on any, anything that will prevent you from really utilizing AI to your website. So I think just a free version is really all you need to start off. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you were able to add an AI chatbot to your website. And if you're looking for additional help with adding AI to your website, then you can check out my website, mapletmedia.ca, and you can get in contact with me and my team. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.